Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. I cannot believe it is three days till Christmas. That is absolutely crazy. I feel like it's just completely crept up on us this year in a weird way. I don't know, do you feel like that? Doesn't feel like anything. I don't feel like I'm prepared. I feel like it's gonna be over just like that as well, which is like really sad. I, I can't even feel my toes, that's how cold it is. It's actually not that cold, Jess. You've been like walking out and about without your coat on today. You took the rubbish out without your coat on. Rubbish. Anyway, we are um, my hair's really greasy, hence why I have this hairband. I don't predict it lasting for more than about 30 minutes because my head's too big and it's just, it feels like it's going to slide off. Anyway, we're on our way to pick up my little shadow and we're taking her out for lunch. I was supposed to cook for her, but yeah. Got lazy? No, I woke up really <laughs> late because I stayed up really late because I slept all day yesterday. And I actually felt really ill yesterday. I was sleeping most of the day and then I couldn't sleep at night time when it was time to sleep. And then I wake, went to bed super late. Woke up at about 11 o'clock this morning and I was like, sod this, I need to clean this house because it's a tip. It's still a tip. Get ready. And just, I just thought, you know what? It's easier if we go out for lunch. And it's like Christmas. Do you know what I mean? Like, no one wants to sit indoors, like cooking, whatever. So that is <coughs> the plan for the day. <coughs> and then we are actually spending the rest of the day cooking. But I'll tell you about that later. <laughs> Change of plan. We've just picked Minnie Me up while well, she's gone back indoors, and her parents have invited us out for lunch with them because they decided to go out for lunch as well. So now we're having Indian, well, we're having South Indian. Oh, I don't mind. So masala dosa, which is very oh, exciting. Oh, Are we meeting them there? Yeah. Hi! Oh, hello! Oh, hello! Hi. Welcome to your first Vlogmas debut of 2019. This is so exciting. People have actually been wondering where you are. Like people have actually What's messaged me. Actually? Yeah, like two people messaged well, me. I'm here now, everyone. <laughs> She's back. Yeah. Wish yeah. us luck. Oh God, yeah. Oh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know, that you was it. You don't have to come. Like, you, you don't have, we don't have to get in. Okay, what do you want to do? Oh, well, you don't want to go. I just, I don't mind going. I don't mind going. You liar. You just don't want to be with your parents, do you? No, I genuinely. You know what it was? We, we put but on the spot. I don't want you to feel like you have to go. No, I, I, I mean, don't. I mean, I hadn't really thought of anything. I gave you two options. No, and I, didn't, what it was. I left it to you to decide because I can't even bother with food these days. It's no, so no, like it's so so boring. The funny thing is, they didn't know we we're going to eat out, and then as soon as we said we we're going to eat out, they said, "Why don't you come with us?" And it's like we'll come over because I wanted to walk to say it, and I said, "She's a boss. Let her know." <laughs> oh, thanks. It's because they've got this Amex deal. I don't know. If you oh yeah, oh, the, the small the shop pan deal. Pan yes. Yeah. Yeah. We should have gone to Taipan. Yeah. Well done. You're doing a great <laughs> job of that. <laughs> it's a riddle I one, don't really know what this is either. It's good in my way too spicy. It's very spicy. Great. Just what I wanted. It's a bit bizarre. We're home to my messy house. And we're having coffee. We picked up some biscuits. Coffee. From a Polish supermarket next to the restaurant. I'm actually kind of hungry. Hungry. The restaurant that we went to, I never find their food is like that filling. It's quite nice, but it's very small portions, which is not very filling food. And it's very cheap. That probably explains why it's not very filling, right? Where are the biscuits? Oh, we've mm. left them on the sideboard up there. I'll can get, I them. get them. Oh, you can do. Okay. We are now gonna have our biscuits and coffee. I'll show you wait for Serena, and then we are cooking a Korean feast which I'm so excited about. What are we cooking? Bibimbap. How are we gonna do it? Don't they have like the, the this frying sizzly thing? Yeah but obviously I don't have like a hot stone bowl so you just basically make it and serve it hot <laughs> and like you just mix it all up and eat it together. I It's gonna be a really long-winded process because there's so many different elements that go into bibimbap and they're all cooked separately and then they're just chucked into a bowl together made to look pretty and then you just mix it all up and eat it. So that's what we're gonna do. I've watched two or three different YouTube videos and I think one of them is probably the best one. So I've brought all the ingredients, they're all ready. And we're gonna like go and chop and cook. So excited for this. Basically, the whole reason we're doing this is because I love daikon. So if you'd have watched my yesterday's video or the day before, um, you'd have seen that I made my Vietnamese pickles and they use daikon in them. But like daikon is basically just a white radish and it's used in Korean, Vietnamese, and Japanese cuisine, but they pickle them in different ways. So the already pickled daikon that you buy for like Korean slash Japanese cuisine, 
I think it's actually Japanese, but we're having it with Korean, like whatever, is so good. But you saw the size of the radishes and it's just a whole radish that's pickled. And you buy it just as it is, like pickled. And once it's open, it says used within like three or four days. And there's no way I'm gonna eat a whole radish on my own. I bought it in the summer, it has quite a long date on it. So I was like, one day when you guys are free, cause she also loves pickles, we're gonna like have it with stuff. And I'll send you home with some pickles as well in case your parents want some. And it'll just be great. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We need a lot of pickles today. And now we're having biscuits. Oh yeah, what are these? These are shorties because I'm short. So am and I. then these are hit because I want to hit Nishi with the time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Freaking <Frickin> charming. <laughs> this is what we do on Christmas, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we spent far too long like creating loads of Snapchats and spamming our family WhatsApp group. <laughs> but now I'm about to chop and prepare the veg. And I've got the rice soaking ready to boil later on. I have shiitake mushrooms, some carrots, probably won't use them all, a cucumber, bean sprouts, and a courgette I'm gonna wash in here. I'm gonna wash these too. I know that you're not supposed to wash mushrooms, but I feel like it's really gross when you don't because you have bits of mud in them. I don't know how people eat mushrooms without washing them, to be honest. Let me know in the comments what you do. Do you just like not wash them? Do you wipe them? Do you wash them? What do you do? Let me know. the shiitake mushrooms once again I apologize for the terrible lighting in my kitchen and this is a courgette and carrots I'm trying to get someone to eat some of the carrots there's too many because somebody Sorry. peeled one too many carrots <laughs> this is the whole daikon that I was talking about that I bought in the summer so obviously I can't eat this whole thing myself in like two days even me and Jess are gonna open this today and I'm very excited So we decided to use this wild garlic tofu that I picked up from the vegan supermarket in Manchester. We're just going with one block for now because we have so much veg, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous! Thanks, Anusha. <laughs> and then I've chopped up carrot, courgette, shiitake mushrooms, cucumber, daikon. These obviously don't need to be cooked, those two. And the tofu. So all the prep is kind of done. I've got the rice soaking ready to be boiled at the very last minute. Now I need to make up the two sauces. I need to go find the recipe for that. So yeah, so we're gonna make the sauce. None of us are hungry for quite a while, I think. No. We'll just pre prepare it all, because this takes a long time. We've got soy sauce, sesame oil, mirin, gochujang, and sesame seeds, I need some sugar. We need to make two different sauces, one to marinate the tofu in, even though this has garlic in it, we're not gonna add extra garlic, um, just to marinate that. I know it's not meat, but it probably won't marinate that well, but let's just do it properly. <laughs> and then we're going to make the gochujang sauce separately, which is the sauce that you pour on top of the bibimbap, and mix it all up so you just have that to taste, as spicy as you want. But Anusha's going to make it, right? Yay! Woo! <laughs> and Serena's observing. <laughs> and hopefully, maybe one day, she'll know how to cook <laughs> something other than spaghetti. Four tablespoons of this. Is this a tablespoon? Yeah. Are you sure? It's not a proper measuring spoon. But Our like, tablespoons look a lot bigger than this. Yeah, but it's fine if you use the same spoon for everything, so you know it's all consistent. So the tofu is just marinating in here until we need to cook that. <laughs> okay, now we're making. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, now we're making jang sauce in here well Anusha's doing it I will tell her what to put in it but it's basically kind of the same ingredients with a little bit of sugar and a bit of oh, a few extra bits so here goes this is the jug you go to jang how much of the go to jang two tablespoons it's very hard to see but this is the Look, goat strong sauce looks great in my little milk jug. I finally found a use for this if you watch my Kenya haul video. This is the tofu marinating, these are the garnishes, we have rice soaking. These need to be rinsed actually, but then we're just going to boil them up a little bit. We'll bring them to the boil just to like take the rawness out of them. And yeah, then fry some eggs. Woo! And Woo! I'm frying eggs. Oh, good because I hate doing that. Yeah! <laughs> Twin powers! 
This is what happens when you leave a man unattended. Jas has just brought some Christmas lights out, even though we're only home for like under 24 hours, and he's attempted to put them up, but not very well. Well done, Jas. Right. You should be proud of yourself. Oh, yeah, of course I'm proud of that. No, you used to do it nicely. Look, don't encourage him. Like, this, this, this <laughs> tree, you know the tree? The Christmas tree that Nanny's has, has got no fake snow underneath, so. I think we should put that underneath it. This one, this one, yeah, cool. Alexa, stop. Here we are. We've got the salted caramel gin liqueur. Got this from Manchester Christmas Market in Albert Square. That's, That's what it was. Now we're going to give this a go. Ready? Oh, you guys just have to smell it. It smells incredible. Guys, I am so proud of myself. This looks amazing. It was quite long. We had to blanch the bean sprouts and like kind of stir fry these just to cook them a little bit. And the tofu, cucumber for some crunch and daikon. And Anusha is frying eggs because I'm terrible at cooking eggs. So the eggs go in the middle, we kind of, we, we, we double them over because I don't really like any sort of egg white to be uncooked, it makes me feel a little bit queasy. So yeah, these look good. Well done. I mean, they're not the best eggs that I've ever done. They look good though. Well done. Okay, you know. <laughs> that was hard work. Um, I hope it tastes as good as it looks, but I'm so impressed with the way it turned out. And... Like all the veg like sit perfectly like in a circle I didn't have to like move it around because the, the rice at the bottom the veg goes in a circle and the egg in the middle and then you pour the goat strang sauce over it and you sprinkle sesame seeds but we, we ran out of them oh this looks amazing okay. I'm so impressed very impressive. Just poured the goat strang sauce over it. Oh, I'm just so impressed with myself. Like it just looks so good. Well There's a lot of hungry oh, faces like disgusting. watching me. <laughs> they're dying to eat. So imagine, imagine if you, you go. it later and you're like, this actually tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's hope it doesn't because this was a lot of effort. Go, tuck in. I want everyone's reactions, sorry, really? before I um, eat my okay. own. Can I have a, um, oh yeah, sorry. Pass the fork, sorry. Um, pass it over. over to... Go on then, Serena. <laughs> Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> how do you do this? You can just mix it all up with your fork. Like cut the egg up and then just... How do you get an egg? That is really good. Is it? Mm -hmm. well, look, are you not, are you not, you're not just saying it? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you how it is. Yeah. Yes. No, it's so good. I'm seriously not just saying it. Mm -hmm. Really? The sauce is so nice. I she think, made the sauce! Yeah. I think it's better than the one that we had in... Where was it in Dublin? No! Yeah. That was my favourite place! I think it was really good, the one in Dublin, but I think I, it lacked salt, like the one in Dublin, I think it lacked like flavour. Oh, that was nice. Mm. But it had a lot of flavour. Let's get your reaction. Are you? Mmm. <laughs> Are you just saying that? No, so I really like this. Ah, okay, I want to try mine. Okay, right. I'm going to go and eat and watch something on Netflix, oh, yeah. so see you later. Oh my god, I'm absolutely shattered. Those bibimbaps was just divine. Like, they were so good. I watched a few YouTube videos and couldn't decide which person's sauce to use. Obviously, that, like, the recipes vary slightly. And then I went with the one guy that was actually Korean. So I was like, you know what? He probably knows what he's talking about. And his was, like, the worst video as well. The lighting wasn't very good. It's like, a really old video, but... I just thought, do you know what, he probably knows what he's talking about. And I'm glad that I went with him because it's all about the sauce for bibimbap. Like literally it's just boiled rice, stir fried veg with just a little bit of salt and a fried egg and it's just the sauce. <laughs> so that was all incredible. It's now coming up to quarter to midnight. Serena and Anusha have just left. They're coming back tomorrow because we're going home for Christmas. I say home, but like Leicester. But now I'm going to wrap up a few presents because I've got a couple of bits still left to do i've got more in leicester as well but i've got a few more bits to do and i'm seeing my friend and her baby tomorrow morning or afternoon at some point tomorrow before we go so i'm going to wrap up their presents as well and make a start on editing this video because that's the only way i get through vlogmas is by at least importing the footage and kind of like at least half editing it the night before because i won't have time tomorrow and maybe, I am really tired, so I'm not going to stay up and do it, but I would like to possibly 
start packing for Leicester as well. I'm such a night owl, I hate doing things in the morning because I really want to try if I wake up early to try and get my eyebrows done because they look awful. But let's just see how we get on. Let me wrap a few presents first and just see how we get on. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a happy My battery died while I was wrapping presents, um, which is a sign that this video is super long. It's been about an hour and I've actually edited the whole of today's video, minus obviously this little clip. I need to add the music here and obviously save it, create the thumbnails, like upload it, schedule it, give it a title, do all that stuff tomorrow. But the great thing about Vlogmas is actually that it makes you really fast at editing, which I love. But now I'm going to take my makeup off. Which I'm about to do, cleanse my skin, do all that jazz and go to bed because it is 1am and I want to try and get up early tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow for quite possibly the very last day of Vlogmas, day 23. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.